Hello guys! I'm bringing you today a computer build. This is my home server build. And let's jump into it. And I got all these parts from Newegg. The total price was, I believe, $489 for everything. So let's crack into this. Now, the reason why I chose a home server is because simply um, most of my computers only have 20 like 20 gigabyte hard drives so it was gonna be nice having the server now so let's store all these files on here all right let's crack into the case part just find my knife All right, let's crack into this. Now this is a micro ATX board. I was thinking on getting um, uh, a mini ITX board, but yes, you know. And I also do have a power supply. So I'm hoping that will, it only has two SATA power ports, but I have two hard drives, so hopefully it will work out to be planned. Alright. Now this does hold seven hard drives. It has a variable fan speed controller. It has, it is in black. It has USB 3.0, two ports, and HD audio on the front, uh, SD card slot, uh, three fans, and yeah. Let's pull this little guy out of here. Alright. There it is. Now the front of this case, the lights do like light up. So I don't know if I can disable that or not, because I really don't want those lights to be on because it is a server and it is going on a rack that you can actually see. So, with that said, I'm trying to figure out if I can make that work. If not, I guess I'll just have to do it. Right. Now this will, if you haven't seen my gaming computer build, this is the same brand by Leon Lee. Finally got the name right. This is by Leon Lee. All aluminum, aluminum chassis. So it just comes with like a few product guides. Let's throw that in there. Then let's bring you up closer to the case. All right. All right, so let's see here. Here is the back. It takes a standard ATX power supply. Then we have five um, IO port, no sorry, I, uh, uh, PCI card slots. All right, let's move to the opening of it. Oh yeah, this one's, this case is a little weird because these, all these screws on this part of here have to come off. So let me pause the video, then I'll turn it back on once I get those unscrewed. Alright, I'm back. As you can see, I took off the plates. I believe it has like nine screws, maybe. Uh, but... Alright, let me show you the innards. This right here, this is the variable fan speed controller, which will be handy. It is Molex. I wonder if I can just use like a dual mo Molex plier thing to... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can do that. Because these, as you can see, they're dual back. So that 
is handy. All right, we got the, the um, indicator lights, the power like power power LED, the power switch and reset switch. We have um, uh, uh, USB 3.0 slot. We have HD audio and two fans in the front. I believe they're 120 millimeter fans. And the top one, we have a top one right here. I believe it is a 120 millimeter fan also. Let me crack into this. See what's in here. This is, I believe, is all the screws that you will ever need for this case. Maybe. If I can crack into it. I'm gonna pull out the knife. How about that? Dang, this this knife really did not want to come off. All right, let's let's check out the box after I <laughs> take out some paint. All right, so in here, this is um. I do believe this is 3.0 to just the standard. I believe this, if you use this conversion adapter, it won't um, work. Like, you have to, it will only support USB 3.0, I mean 2.0. So there's that. Here's some screws for the back, and then here's some extra, and then here's some thumb screws. Then here's a, a speaker, case speaker, and uh, like a little wire cables. Handy dandy little thing. Alright, so set that back in there. And pull this case off to the side. Alright, and let's get into the, uh, the box of goodies from New Egg. All right, just uh, sit on the table. All right, let's see. First off, we have four gigabytes of let me grab the knife. Four gigabytes of ball stick RAM by Crucial. Here it is, ball stick, four gigabytes, um, DDR3-1600. I believe these have LEDs. They do have LEDs, I believe. Don't get me wrong. I'll have to throw them in and see if they do have LEDs. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Next thing we're going to move on is to a hard drive, I'm guessing. Alright, it is. It's by Western Digital. I think this, yes, this is a 1.5 terabyte hard drive. And this is a green drive, 64 megabytes of cache. Now this will be the main, main C drive for the, the um, Windows uh, Home home server 2011 version because it likes to have the bigger ones first and then you can add on like smaller drives next which this is a smaller drive than that one by a long by a long shot now this is western digital blue cavalier i think i pronounced that right but it's a 250 gigabyte hard drive this has 16 megabytes of cache Next we have is the P CPU, which is a Pentium 3.0 gigahertz. This is the G806 LGA1155 socket. There's the CPU. There's that. 
All right. It is a server, so you don't really need a high-powered CPU. Not like an i7 or something. That's unless if you're running applications. This is just going to be a fileless server. All right, we have... I did open this before so I could, like, take this out. We do have the Windows Home Server 2011. There, there is the case. Slide all these back in there. Alright, and the last thing that I got was the motherboard. Alright, and this is by Gigabyte. It is a B75M-D3P. Alright. It says... Seeing if this has a 3D BIOS. I don't think it has a 3D BIOS. Maybe. I don't see it on there, so... Alright. So here we got um, two SATA cable connectors. I mean, uh, cables. Yeah. This is the IO shield, the manual, and installation installation guide. And here is the board. Now this has um, eight. Uh, SATA port, which is really nice for a server. Okay, I might have to figure that out. But, yeah, you will see that when I am, you'll see the full board when I'm done with the build. So, I'll be back once I'm done with the build. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Well, in a little bit. So, bye. Hey guys, I'm back. And I just wanted to sh show you what when I was finished what the inside looks like. And I was correct, the RAM slots, the RAM actually does have LEDs. Just kind of funny, I didn't know that, but at least it matches these blue fans on the front. All right, so we got 250 gigabyte blue drive, Cavalier blue, then we have a one and a half terabyte green drive. We have a Pentium processor, it's a G860 processor. And then power supply. I'm probably getting a new one as I ripped out this out of an old computer. So probably getting a new one. Here's the case. And I downloaded, downloaded the software already. And here's a peek at the software. Yep. So, alright. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later in another video. Thanks and bye.